if you like pina coladas blum blah 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 blum 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 I've been trying out the wet and wild photo focus foundation and I've been loving it um, my thing was I, I wasn't seeing any luminosity shining through it's like super matte and I wasn't digging that super mattifying look um, so I tried them out with the mark Wow. it's raining guys so if you can hear the thunder just ignore that um, yeah so I went ahead and tried that out with these Marc Jacobs stuff that I, I got the other day um, so this is the setting spray the dew drops the primer and a lip gloss lip lacquer and I tried the complexion with that foundation and it looks so nice like I honestly like how luminous how dewy it is and it's making my skin just look fresh and radiant so uh, you know if you want to stick around and try these new products with me then just keep on watching uh. all right so we're gonna be using the double undercover perfecting coconut face primer yeah and I've never tried these things before so we'll just see what kind of hydrating coconut bronzed goddess do will be <laughs> my priming brush oh and it has kind of like a liquidy consistency that's interesting for a primer it doesn't really have any scent and this really just feels moisturizing like it doesn't feel like silicone doesn't feel like anything it just feels like a nice water-based moisturizer i don't know if this is water-based um i don't know i'm loving the wet and wild foundation photo focus foundation at first i was like meh don't know how i feel about it but i actually do like the way it looks on my face um i, I, I don't know i just like it i feel like it gives me i don't know and my face just looks really smooth and whatever so i've been wearing it for the past couple um videos that i've done and so i know it's ins and out pretty much so i'm gonna see if it can look a bit more glowy skin like because i do like especially the born this way foundation um, my, my color is in chai so i'm gonna see if it can give me that kind of glow from within look i'm gonna be mixing it with the do you do drops coconut gel highlighter i think what i'm gonna do is should i mix it should i mix it i don't know maybe just put it all over the face and then put the foundation on but it's kind of i don't think it's gonna give me the same effect that I want what I'm gonna do is get my little dish and mix it even this doesn't have yeah it's jelly I don't know why I didn't think it would be jelly I'm just gonna add it because <laughs> it's not it, the, the the applicator is like a little spooly thing and so it makes it weird to be dripping out on my little dish so this is what i had so far i'm just gonna try to roll that together a little bit so at first i didn't really care for the color because you can see it looks just not my skin shade after i put on the concealer it just looks different <laughs> boy mm -mm. <laughs> and this is a little trick that i do as well with the foundation i just use it to clean up my brows and don't mind me taking my ugh, tiny whiny little time to do this it does dry down it's in your best interest to work fast let me grab this sponge and we can talk about this later <laughs> to put it in your hairline because you don't want to be looking crazy i can't really tell if i am seeing a difference as yet with like the glowing aspect of it um but i'll be able to tell when i am i, I can tell if i'm like <laughs> this is how i know if i like a foundation and if i'm gonna wear it is when i'm editing if my skin looks tremendously nice I can you know I'm like okay now the reason why I can't tell right now 
is because I don't know I'm just under all these lights and I, I don't know what I'm seeing <laughs> I know what I'm seeing but my eyes are kind of bad you guys know like I, you can just tell by when I can tell when I see when I'm editing I know for a fact I'm like okay this is good but now I'm I do like it it's you know I am seeing what I'm seeing but I can't really give it a yeah I see a difference until I'm editing <laughs> is what I'm trying to say because it still looks pretty matte I'm not really seeing that dewy glowy aspect that it's that's supposed to be happening at first when I used the wet and wild photo focus concealer and this one is in dark cocoa I was like ah that looks so dark whatever but it kind of just balanced out the orangeness that's going on on my face i can show you better than i can tell <laughs> i can show you better than i can tell you something that i don't care for with this is um it doesn't take out a lot i feel like i have to be dipping in dipping in even though i don't use a lot of concealer typically but i just feel like it doesn't take out the amount that i want in just one dip and finished oh, it's just so annoying So hopefully you can kind of tell what I mean when I say it it really balances out everything. I'm just gonna go in with the Invisible Finish Line Perfecting Coconut Setting Powder. I have just gotten really in love with the Milani Translucent Medium to Deep Powder. That's just my jam. Along with, uh, you know, my love and hate relationship with the Maybelline Fit Me. To have my powder on lock, like blend it out and then right when i'm done like trying not to even look down looking crazy press the powder i feel like that has helped so much to like not make my under eyes crease it's crazy oh for a second i thought it was turning gray i'm like what one thing i can tell you that i ups yeah it is turning gray isn't it whatever maybe it's because my brush wasn't clean i need to go wash my brush <laughs> I knew I love this powder for a reason like it feels so different like the other ones feel felt so I don't know like it took forever to set but this one one little pop girl I'm all set like I know my eyes won't go my eyes will not be creasing like typically I will go in with it and I'm like stamping it on stamping it on I feel a dramatic change with this one, like a drastic change with this one. It just feels dry, it's all mad, it's all good to go. Like I feel like my under eyes are set right now. Yeah, the gray that I'm probably feeling is because my I need to wash my brush, but that's my bad. Yeah, I like it. Woo, yeah. I don't have a um, all over face powder, so I'm just gonna, from Marc Jacobs, so I'm just gonna go in with my flower. You know how I typically do it. I'll be back. I'll show you guys since we're doing the complexion anyway. Now y'all know I am here for my nose contour. Like I just I I, I love contouring my nose now. I just at first, at first I didn't care about nose contour. And I'm like, I have my nose is straight anyway, it's whatever, but since you know just doing it it's i love it now i didn't powder my nose so don't mind that i'm just gonna go in with a little bit of the concealer and what i'm doing is literally just stamping the brush guys like so that's what i pretty much did with it i just stamped the brush there and just make the brush form its line pretty easy guys i just love this little brush and it's the milani brush that came in the little travel set this new brush set that they had a couple months ago and you know what it reminds me of it reminds me of one of those um i think her name is britney bear the morphe pack of brushes because i think i have it all the way around there <laughs> i'm not gonna get up to go get it but it reminds me of one of those brushes that she have in in the pack so I'll try to insert a picture of it because that's better than trying to dig up the whole place. Y'all know how I feel about this bronzer. 
it just doesn't show. I'm gonna pr probably just start using it as my face powder because I mean, where is it? Where is it, Marc Jacobs? Where is it? Blushes by note. I don't have to tell you guys. I think y'all already know. Like I'm not putting down this blush until it is done, okay? Mm -mm. Until it's done. Now I'm just here looking at my nose, wondering why I didn't put other line down. I think it makes it makes a difference. It does. Um, when I don't do it, I can tell. Like if you haven't started, you know, like attempting to do a nose contour, not that anything is wrong. I mean, nothing is wrong, girl. Feel like i just want to edit that one out like, nothing is wrong with my nose i just like how it looks doing it um can't fail at trying things guys now for highlight y'all remember this the naked cosmetics kind of disco ball that was going on i didn't use it uh until i figured let me just go ahead and use it now see how that would look i'm probably gonna go into um she have a pinky look on her face Oh, this doesn't have names my bad <laughs> this shade right here it's a pinky shade <laughs> what do we best by look of Ooh, girl, did you see? Ah, did you see that? <laughs> i'm telling you about this little tapered brush this is the luxe 522 tapered highlight brush i'm telling you about this brush <laughs> this brush like it makes these holographic ones just shine like girl look at that oh life this even looks like that shade that i was telling you guys about in the dream kit it just reminds me of it like i don't have the dream kit i think i'm gonna try to get it look at that that looks so nice i think i'm gonna go ahead and also put that on the inner tear ducts i just like when the highlight complement the inner corners i think that's look, that looks cute for lips i'm gonna just use this the french tickler enamored high shine gloss lip lacquer that is cute how oh, I went to lips and my nose can I just how mm, how how do you think I would look if I had like this highlight shade on the bridge of my nose and on my cupid so I think I'm gonna try that in another video because it's just something that I know I know it doesn't look natural but I want to try it just to see how it would look like <laughs> I'm so crazy guys I just love this highlight for my nose i just love it done like done take everything else except my master chrome let's use the recover perfecting coconut setting mist all of this leaking all over the place mark jacob y'all owe me y'all owe me a setting spray okay hmm. i wonder if i spray it in the ear and make it just tinkle on my face if that would be better let's try no i'm not Wow, did you guys see that? Did you guys see the mist? It was like, it's the best thing since sliced bread, I'm telling you. This one is a winner. Maybe not as much as I used because I can tell that if you use a lot of it, you can potentially get greasy real quick. <laughs> so maybe a little bit less. I got carried away with the spritzer. I was like, well, I'm not really feeling anything, but it's coming out and I'll see when I'm editing. <laughs> um but wow this one this one is a that it's a keeper it's it's a keeper and look my face just came back to life it's like who was matt when were you ever matt <laughs> i'll be back guys okay guys so that about wraps up this video now do you remember at first when i was like no i won't be able to tell i like it i am seeing it's not that matte it's very dewy my skin looks fresh i'm like glowing or whatever <laughs> so i like it i like how this one looks game changer was the coconut setting mist oh 
yes i will be using it i know when you think oily skin you're like why would you be using that but this on its own is very matte and i just never got this ending result with it so i definitely know it was it's the primer the dewer gel the dew gel the mist whatever it is i'm glad i used it with this combo and it looks so nice like it honestly reminds me of the born this way foundation <laughs> it really does it's that it's it's not too dry it's not matte it's you're just it's perfect alrighty guys so that about covers the video I'll see you in another one